What's up, kids? L.A. Nick. I'm in Argentina with Anwar. And Tony. And this is Tony's private collection. And he's sitting there. He's got some nice stuff. They're packed in here, though. <laughs> this is typical. Typical for Italy. I didn't know it was typical for Argentina, too. <laughs> in Italy, everyone has this. I, I can't even go through them all. What is this? What is this? What's that? Oh, that's DKW, too? This is the only one. This is the one. Hueco. It's very Never weird. heard of it. Explicale que fue. Never heard of it. No sé cómo le va a explicar. Decirle que era una fábrica. Never heard of it. Que vendía herramientas alemanas del sur. Y le pidió a Huehueco que no, hiciera una fábrica para él. Un poco de guzzi. Y no para mi hermano. Air Machi. Mira, hay un montón de Air Machis. Y el rato sacaba que tenga. Mira, hay mucha cosa. Oh, hay un roomie. Roomie. Yeah. Roomie. yeah. Ah, Rumi Junior. Rumi Junior. Mint. Esto, esto sí que bonito. Very clean. Toda hecha por mí. I'm gonna see the Rumi. Allá está la FN Belga, la Belga. Look at the, look at the front of that bike. Look how it works. Is this an FN? No sé lo que es. Es un FN. Yeah, FN. Yes, pre-war. Yeah, pre-war. But look at the. I know, I know the front end. The front end, yeah. Yeah. Works. Yep. Look, look, can you guys see this front end? It is crazy. <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, I have one of these in a, a roller. <laughs> I have a roller with half a motor. The tank's all rotted out right here. It's okay. at the yard. <laughs> we have this bike. They said that it was very dangerous because if you get to the corners and you start to jump with those kind of... Uh, oh, I wouldn't want to ride it. That's one crazy front end there. There's a Rumi. I like my Rumi's. Rumi Junior? Yeah. Con Urquilla Air, like you can see. With the Air Suspension. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, suspension. yeah, yeah. Stability. Yeah. GT350 Suzuki Airflow. Suzuki. What's, 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 Antonio? It's a MSS 500 1938. Velocet. Velocet 1938 SS. That's very important, the Velocet. The Velocet? Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. I, I, I can't really get up there, but it looks, it looks really nice. We're going around to, to see it from this side. Yeah, I can get up here. Go, go. I'm small. <laughs> and I'm used to doing this. <laughs> I'm used to doing this at sport wheels. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice. Very nice. What's this little blue bike? What is this little blue bike, Emma? <laughs> Never heard of it. That's, that bike has a very important story. That's one of the 10 bikes that Perón brought to Argentina to make an Argentinian bike. He sent a team to Germany. Copy. He brought this bike and then Copy. He, he became the Puma. Right. The Puma is the... Oh, the Puma. Yeah, the sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Puma. So they copied the Puma from this. He was from this bike. Yeah, just like Benelli did with the Honda 750. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Well, they copied it to the T. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can use, you, you know, you can put all Honda 550 parts in the Benelli set. Yeah. Connecting rods, pistons, everything. Yeah. yeah. Let's go see the room. This is a Honda that raced in Argentina in 1980. Yeah, that's cool. I want to try to get a little closer to that roomy. Oh, look at that. Look at that exhaust on that. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> just roomies. Roomies did such weird shit, man. Like the tanks and all are just crazy. Like look at this tank. Metal too, it's not glass. It's a hard metal work, man. Just a cool bike. I can't get really far. Let me try to zoom in. There we go. I guess it's so tight in here I can't really get anything. This is this bike's on my wish list. A roomy. Got some nice bikes in here. Freaking packed the, the whole house. The whole house is full of bikes. Not just this room. It's a whole house. I gotta figure out how to get out. Rural infields, some skeletons. Look at that front end. That front end is crazy shit. I've never seen that. I've seen some effins, but I've never seen that particular front end. It's pretty crazy looking. Really nice shape. Really, really nice. The white one is another panther. The panther, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You don't see panthers around, man. Yeah. They're hard to come by. That one that we got in Alexandria was a really oh, nice bike. Yeah. It was like perfect. That was my favorite bike there except for the Ducati. But I couldn't get it. They all went up for auction. I wanted to buy that Panther, but they all went up for auction. The numbers went too high for me. Really? I have that bike. That's a good bike. Slow as hell though. Yeah. Is that R50 or R6? C5, yeah. I had the 6. Alright. They're, they're fun, but they are slow. <laughs> and I mean slow. Yeah. Like scary slow. You saw the Motomi over there? The egg? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's some nice stuff, man. But we still have another one. Oh, we still have another one? Yep. <laughs> whole house is full of bikes. You saw the crown, but you didn't saw the crown. Most Americans, we don't get a lot of these KZ 1300 six cylinders. In Europe, they're everywhere. People love them. It's like the favorite six cylinder, preferred six cylinder of Europe. And they're beast, man. <laughs> like a mammoth. About as big as the Mammoth. You ever see the Mammoth? Have you ever seen the Mammoth motorcycle called Mammoth? Yeah. Yeah, it's about the size of that. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, you're right. Let me get this bike in here real quick. Certum. Another brand I've never heard of. Certum. Italian. And it's neat. It's really neat. That's a cool bike. Mm -hmm. Very neat. Square four? Yep, yep, square yep. Four. Early, pre war square four. All gear driven. Very nice bike. What is this bike? Oh, Guzzi. Oh, that's pretty, that's like, almost like the Panther motor, how they yeah. put it on such an angle. The same, the same, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this Guzzi. What is this? It's very common here. It's the uh, Guzzi uh, Lodola. Lodola. I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't, I don't remember recalling ever seeing a head that slanted. It came as 175 and then 235. Hmm. This one is 175. So a little CC bike, but cool looking. Come on, take a look at this. Okay. You have to go upstairs. Upstairs. You go first. I <laughs> know <laughs> it's a white ah, people are crazy, down. man. Oh, down there. Down there. Down there. Down there. You set up. The grand, the grandmother jeweler. How do you, how do you get these bikes down here? Huh. It has an elevator. Over there. Oh. That was like the house in Alexandria that had a hoist made. Comentale que tengo un galpón con más motos, pero no está acá. It has a warehouse with all motorcycles, but it's not here. Nice old Guzzi. Qué linda, ¿no? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Original tack. 
Jaeger. Yeah, very okay. nice. I want one of these. I want a pre-war Guzzi or a pre-war Benelli, but in America, they're just hard to come by, man. We call them here Fiambrera because it looks yeah. like uh, the, yeah. for cutting yeah. the yeah. Hand. hand. Yeah, yeah. We are going to his bedroom. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Because in his bedroom, <laughs> what's the best? We want to see to his girlfriends. Decide que mi mejor despertar. His beautiful wake up. Yes, I the girlfriend. I, I have wake than. up. Trust me, I want one of my bedrooms. <laughs> Nancy won't let it happen. I can't even let her let, get, have her let me put the mini bike up there. Yes. I'm like, can't you put the Benelli mini bike up there? <laughs> No gas in it or nothing. Nope. We have we used to have a lot of bikes in the house. But when we moved, now we only have three in the house. <laughs> this is literally his bedroom. He's in the bedroom and the girlfriends in the bedroom. And he, you lay in bed and look at his girlfriends. <laughs> What do we got in here? Decirle que son todas de campeón. Campeón argentino. This is an Argentinian champion. Argentinian Super champion. Super Argentino Super Argentino what is it though? What is this though? 500? Two stroke? 250? 250? This set. 250. 250. 250. Yeah. 250s are the fastest. Yeah. They are. They're the fastest GP bikes. The 250s. This is a very special bike. It's yes, a yes. RK. It's a special <laughs> model for racing. It's it's awesome. Yeah. Like this is that's up my alley. I like these real dainty bikes, race bikes. All right. Yeah. So the Macles. Macles, yeah. And then the Norton. Flathead. Flat tank Norton. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Big money for racing. Yeah. Yeah. Y esta es de Diego Perlucci. Diego Perlucci eh, was a... Uh, there he goes, better. Diego it's Perlucci, now? he was a superbike rider. Super oh, 250R. Yeah. 250R. Yeah, 250R. Yeah, 250R, two-stroke. It's Salute the fast. Salute to the 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 Salute Motorcycle. Fue mi primera motocicleta. This one was his first motorcycle. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Still have it. The Macles. Macles. And in Argentina, it used to came, and in the moment they came in Argentina, they changed the back and they put the uh, suspension. Decir que esta fue de un subcampeón argentino, este, was Pablo from... Lesio. Yeah, yeah, this used to be for Pablo Lesio, uh, Argentinian ex uh, subcampeón. Yeah, yeah, right. Yamaha, Yamaha, TZ, TZ y RS Honda. Yeah. Water cool two stroke, 250 fast. These, este, these, these 250 GP bikes are like nothing else you've ever ridden. Imagine this, I'm waking up in the morning. I'm waking up. The orgasm. Yeah, I'm trying, trust me. I'm trying. I'm trying to be like you. I think it's enough. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Say, say wave to the camera. That's Tony. Okay. He's got a great collection. We're in Argentina. All right, see you guys. What do we got here? So, this is Argentinian meat. And uh, we're doing because I know that the Americans and the Europeans love the very juicy uh, meat. Yes. And Whiskey. so I get gonna get the gaucho thing. So you see inside is Argentina. That's uh, uh, like this. It. Argentinian cowboy. Yeah, always cowboy. Yes. Now this is the food that we have here. Take a look at this. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Right. Good. So this is a little bit more yeah, that's strong, but this is the one I was waiting for you. Where do you get that? Uh, to my butcher. That's very special butcher. Oh, that's beautiful. So I, I know you like it raw, 
but this is the best part. I don't like it. Well, I like it medium. Okay, so do you like it medium? Oh, that's a hot fire, man. Yeah. So, beautiful. So this is here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right? beautiful. Yeah. 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 Anwar, Anwar can cook. The cooker. But your father can cook too. Oh, he's better. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I know Argentinians are looking at this, are going to say, yes, hey, it's too raw. No, <laughs> because there are a lot of you that want it raw. Yeah, Americans and Europeans like raw meat. Yeah, you have to adapt. Argentina likes it well done. All right, now try this. Uh, let me know if you like it. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I think that's the best piece of meat I've ever had in my life. I'm not kidding you either. All right. Fantastic. Just fantastic, man. You have bread over here. Because we eat oh. a lot of bread. That's fantastic. Yeah, really good. You know what that'd be good for? The next day, sandwiches. Yep. No. Yep. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Oh. Yeah, that's good. You try that? Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Spectacular. You like this? <laughs> yeah. Everything, everything Edward has is Benelli. <laughs> everything. It's a, it's a brain problem. Even the towels in my room have a Benelli <laughs> logo. Something's going on over there. Man, that's some good meat right there, man. All right, right. I don't think we have meat this good in America. Maybe you do, but it's too okay. expensive. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. When you prepare this, so when you cook this, do yeah. you do you use butter? Butter. Butter. No, never. We just never. Salt. In America, every steak, just one steak, has a full stick of butter. No, just salt. Right. We put the salt so you cook it. Yeah. We don't put the salt after we cook it. We right. It Why you cook it? Yeah. And it's uh, the, the, heavy, the, the big salt. So that the, the heavy grain, yeah, yeah. Uh, that the, the, the salt oh. needs. And so now we get very. Just good. fantastic. Yeah. I mean, unbelievably. Glad you like it. Just amazing. Flavor all the way through. Yeah. Not just on the top. In America, the top's tasty, but the inside, not so much. No, no, just this is taste all the way through. Yeah. Wow, it's just amazing. Charlie. Ah. Good, right? Hola, Flor. No, no me salió de tu traficado. The cooker. You never kiss the cooker. Right. We'll see you later, guys, because I'm going to eat.